what's going on guys welcome back i know i did tell you guys that i'm going to trickle in some of these reactions this week even though it's music week um yesterday there was i didn't upload anything yesterday because yesterday was just it was just terrible for me when it comes on to recording anything or uploading anything so there was no reactions um i had a couple of reactions that i was supposed to upload but no Yesterday, my my sister um, called me, which was, was Tuesday, right? My sister called me. She's like, yo, just come spend the day with us. Your nephews haven't seen you in a long time. I couldn't say no. And the reason why I couldn't say no is because it's been a long time since I've been over there. Um, it's been a long time since I've been there, and I have no excuses. <laughs> I had zero excuses. I can't say I'm busy. <laughs> so sometimes you really does have you really do have to do those things when you have to do them, right? So yeah, that's what happened yesterday. Plus I um you know, I was trying to fight off a headache yesterday too. Um I do this to myself all the time where I wake up and I just start doing stuff and forget to eat because i don't know maybe i am a workaholic who knows but yeah i do that to myself all the time so yesterday i didn't get a chance to do anything as i didn't get back home until really late it was like um nine somewhere between nine and ten o'clock i came back home so i was like okay the day is shot can't do nothing so so yeah man yesterday was pretty cool um, spent some time with the nephews, one of my nephews, um, the old or oldest is in college, um, but he had to come back home. So he's doing all his assignments from home, you know, doing all, the, all of his classes online, which is insane, right? But hey, the pandemic is here and I have to make do it, I have to make do it. It's a pain in the hat, the ass for him, <laughs> not me, you know, so that's crazy but it is what it is anyways um so yes yeah, spartacus so if you're watching this and you were you did not see anything on the channel yesterday you know the reason why okay so yes so um today we're gonna do some spartacus i have some music reactions to upload um they're already uploaded i just need to publish them <laughs> but anyways um yes yeah, so i'm doing spartacus um, I'm going to give you guys an episode of Spartacus, um, The Walking Dead, and also maybe Vikings. I don't know yet, but we'll see how things go. Um, I still have, um, pr I promised you guys to do My Hero Academia. I did, I was going to do it, the episodes, but I decided to do the movie instead because it was time to watch the movie according to the subscribers, so that's what I did. But last episode of spartacus was so good so good you know what i mean it was so good <laughs> right asher's still an asshole still want him to die yes so the calamity that they find themselves in with Ganicus coming back i still don't i don't think that this is the last we're gonna see of him though i still don't i don't think so um they're still trying to build an army you know so i'm definitely looking forward to see what what is going to be the push after they build this army they lost a lot of men going to that abandoned place so now that they're training you know got um you know the weaker ones to use the bow and arrow and stuff like that are they going to build a, a good enough army to beat glabber so I did not expect what happened at the end of that episode for him to attack that dude. You know what I'm saying? Sepi what is it? Sepia? Um, yeah, I did not expect that. That caught me off guard because I didn't, you know, to bring these thugs. Because they're thugs that Asher went to get these thugs. Because they're not, they don't look like they're trained warriors or trained gladiators. Maybe they are, but we that hasn't been revealed to us yet. But they're vicious. Um, you know, so we'll see how they stand up against Spartacus and his men, you know, and Crixus. So, uh, I'm also glad that Navia kind of found herself 
in this new world. You know what I'm saying? Um, for her to ask for help to learn how to fight, you know what I'm saying, and not be helpless, like Mira. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, to be you know, to not be helpless. Um, as in what she's seeing in Mira herself. You know, Mira is ad admirable. You know what I'm saying? She goes overboard sometimes. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, 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 it's like she feels like I have to stab this person 20 times. Else I'm not sure they're dead. <laughs> you know, but anyways, man, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're going to watch this episode, episode seven, and then I'll be right back here for the review. All right, guys, things are getting real spicy for the final three episodes of the season, and I'm looking forward to it, man. Spartacus, it just the ep episode by episode, it just keeps getting better, which is what I liked about is what that is what I loved about Game of Thrones, and it's what I'm loving about this show, man. Um, um, Game of Thrones went, it hit its peak, and it just slowly started not be getting as great <laughs> but yeah but for spartacus you know second season and um it's it's just it's topping itself every episode the writing is unbelievable right now and i can't stop talking about the writing because the writing is what's really keeping me interested it's not about the fights it's, the fights are entertaining don't get me wrong um but the way how they structure stuff you know what I'm saying? Mind you, sometimes very predictable. Um, as you can see, um, when I watch TV shows, and a lot of times, a lot of times that stuff shouldn't be the music build up. A lot of times, I've seen that so many times. <laughs> it, I've seen it so many times. I know you might be saying then you shouldn't call it out or whatever. But a lot of times when I say that, I just know. It's just my my. I just know because I've seen it so many times when they build up. Um, you you see this in horror movie too, horror movies too, where there's this build up for no reason. You know it's not going to be the ghost behind the person. You know it's probably somebody tapping them on their shoulder or something. But there's just just this harrowing music that's there. That's like it's too. You get what I'm saying? Like based on what you're watching, it shouldn't fool your brain. To think it's something else. If it was Gannicus, it would have completely blew my mind. You get what I'm saying? It would have. I'm telling you the God's honest truth. That would have blew my mind. Because I would have been like, but we didn't see what's supposed to happen. So it would have been a huge time skip and a time difference that just wouldn't make any sense. And it would have confused me. And they would have lost points for that. So... To the way how the writing was going in the story, there's no way, cause, cause I know how people are, and I know some people's gonna be like, oh, that's proof that he's watched the show before, and people has done that to me before, especially when I was watching Game of Thrones, even though I explained to them prior to starting watching the series that I have watched episodes of Game of Thrones, I just wasn't invested in it as I was as i was now as in i'm gonna pay attention to the lore and everything that they're doing so i can follow the tv show and get as invested as other people that has recommended the show to me right so get out of here with that nonsense if you come with it don't come with it because i've experienced it before when you watch enough tv shows and stuff you can predict shit it's not there's only so many ways that people can do things. It's very real. When you see me genuinely surprised, I am genuinely surprised <laughs> because my mouth drops open. Okay? So it's like, that's why you see a lot of times I sit down and some things happen and you don't get a reaction out of me because it it didn't surprise me that that happened. Sometimes it's, just a plot point that I've seen before. So it doesn't necessarily surprise me. Maybe something that I knew was going to happen. Like if you see, seen the buildup between Sepia and, and Gaius throughout the episode, you knew they were going to sleep together, right? What did I say when, when, um, when Ilithia left, 
was, uh, uh, yeah, send the wife away so daddy can play, right? That's what I said. So that's that's even better to, to um, that's the biggest reason why Ilithia gotten gone out of the picture. At the end, I did not expect Ganicus to attack that wagon because the plan, that was not the plan. The plan is Ilithia is is leaving, get rid of um, Asher's man and go attack Glaber. She will make way for him to attack him in 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 the um in in the um in the house, right? So it wouldn't have made sense. Like that was surprising to me that he attacked the wagon. You get what I'm saying? He does know about the wagon because um Lucretia told him about it. So due to due to the fact of how the episode was going, I could see certain things happening but also not see certain things happen they still surprise me at the end okay so enough of that it, that touches a soft spot for me and that's why i was trying to explain because a lot of times when i do that people always come on my channel and say oh you watched the show already i've never seen spartacus so enough of that i just wanted to make my point clear because I just have a feeling that somebody was going to say that. So if you are commenting, whatever. <laughs> anyways, anyways, um, I know it makes me seem kind of guilty because I'm explaining it away, but I do have to explain it every now and then. I won't address it again, but I do. The last time I, the last time I had to do it on Game of Thrones because, you know, but that was the last time somebody accused me of watching something before because I, I, I predicted some things. Um, happening because of how the plot lines were going you get what I'm saying and it's not necessarily that I predicted it spot on it was like I feel like this is going to happen and sometimes that's that's how it is but anyways let's talk about the situation with Agron, Spartacus, Crixus, Navia um, pretty cool stuff rescued these dudes from the ship I still can't remember where Agron is from I keep forgetting. He's not a Syrian. He's not a Gaul. I can't. I, I cannot remember where he's from um, or who their people are. I just can't remember. Somebody had typed it in the in the comment section, but I still can't remember it right now. But in any case, man, it was pretty cool to see Agron stand up. As I said, I don't feel like Agron is going to betray Spartacus, even though it looked like he was going to. You get what I'm saying? I just didn't feel like he's the type of person. He, it's, it would have been so out of character for him due to all the buildup we've had of him for the entire season, him being loyal to Spartacus. He's had his differences with Crixus, but he has reasons for why he hates Gauls. You know what I'm saying? So I can't hate on him for that. But throughout the episode, I'm watching and I'm saying he needs to to put all that behind him and just realize that Crixus trusts Spartacus. He trusts Spartacus. They should just all come together and just forget about is this guy against this guy, or this country versus that country, or this people versus this people. It's just like how, you know, in... In, in in my company or, or whatever you know sometimes people will come to me and be like why do why can't you have an all all black business i'm like why why should i do that who because what oh white people have enough they have enough i don't look at business like that i don't look at anything in life like that i don't look at people for this skin color this is the problem with our with our world today you have guys out here just oh we 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 need to build more black business i agree i do agree with that i agree explicitly so you get what i'm saying but are you going to not hire white people that i disagree with you get what I'm trying to say? Having a black uh, um a business owned by black people does not mean you can't hire white people. Isn't the fact that it's black owned 
enough? No, you have to hire all black people or it's not going to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy sometimes the way how people talk. It's very offensive when people say that stuff to me. I think it's very offensive. I think it's one of the reasons why racism cannot disappear. You get what I'm saying? Racism will always be around. But if if you are contributing to that racism in one way or the other, you may not be calling them crackers. You may not. But if you discriminate, and, and in my opinion, that's discrimination. If you, if you are a black person that own a business and don't want to hire white people, that's discrimination. And that's perpetuating um, racism. Okay? So... For me, I'm always looking for that th togetherness. You may have reasons why you don't like a particular set of people, but that doesn't mean that you cannot work with these people and try to find common ground. And that's that's a, that's that's just what I'm saying. But I like the fact that in the end, they came to the conclusion that if Agron is following this dude, then we will too. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty cool to see. Didn't like the fact that this guy was trying to do i mean i'm glad that she that she defended herself but she didn't have the strength to really take down a guy that big that dude is huge i think he's a wrestler if i'm not if i'm not mistaken i think that guy is, a, is, a, is an actual wrestler in the wwe he's either that or he's i don't remember where i've seen him it's either i've seen him in his his face is very familiar to me is either he's in is either he's in wrestling he, or he was in wrestling or he was in the strongest man strongest man in the world tournament i don't remember what they, what they call that tournament the the strong dudes is coming you know compete and stuff like that not not um not bodybuilding it's you guys know what I'm talking about. That strongest man in the world competition stuff that they do that Mark Henry did that was also in wrestling. So pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff, man. I liked it. Um, so Gannicus seems like he took Hilithia for hostage. Seems like he's going to take it back. He left his Rudus. He left his Rudus inside Asher's dude. Inside Asher's man. You know what I'm saying? So Asher's you know, I would have liked, loved to see Lucretia under, um, come from under Asher's, from Asher's, um, thumb, but he's just doubling down. You know what I'm saying? Um, does Lucretia deserve some of the stuff that is happening to her? In some ways, yes. And in many ways, no, there's, there's no way I will ever sit and say a woman deserves to be raped or abused. Or taking advantage of in that way. I, I'm, I'm not for it. So that stuff. Nobody deserves that. Um, Asher. He's been a snake. From ever we've known him. You know what I'm saying. And knowing also his backstory. Just made things worse. It, just, it really just made things worse. As to why. They don't consider him a brother. You get what I'm saying. He's always been a snake. He's always been, you know what I'm saying, against certain things. You know what I'm saying? I remember when he came in and then he turned against his own dude, bro. He turned against his own guy and let the dude um, have sex with his dude was like because he didn't understand what the guy was saying. And let the dude went and got basically raped because he didn't want to lay with a guy. You know what I'm saying? So. And he did that to his own people. So he's always been a type of character that, you know what I'm saying, whatever is coming to him, he freaking deserves, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but as I said, certain things that happened to Lucretia, I believe that I really do I believe that, yes, she deserves certain things like the situation that she's in right now. She deserves what's coming to her. But other than that part that's happening with Asher, she doesn't deserve that. She does not deserve that. But that's just my opinion. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening to me gabber. <laughs> listening to me gabber on for 13 minutes, okay? Thank you guys so much. Anyways, 
I will catch you guys later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. We out here, man. I'll see you guys next time for some more Spartacus. Peace out.